So today we have what is probably one of the favourite coins in the gold bullion stacking community. I'm not talking about these Queen's Beasts, I'm talking about a gold buffalo. So this is my latest pickup, it is the one ounce gold buffalo, uh, 2021. I see the design we all know and love, and uh, obviously the $50 face value. So this is four nines fine, nice pure gold, and uh, obviously the one troy ounce. So much like these other three coins, the buffalo is weighing in, you know, that one ounce mark, and it is a well-recognized bullion coin. So over in the UK, they're probably not as popular as some of the other coins. Uh, whilst, you know, you see them time to time, and you usually be able to pick one up somewhere at some dealer's website. Um, they're not, you know, trading hands on the second-hand market every day, like maybe Sovereigns or Britannia's. So I picked this up recently, and uh, yeah, if you've been following along, you'll probably notice I've picked up quite a few one-ounce coins recently. A um, few reasons for that. First of all, I just saw a couple of bargains on these two coins, and uh, depending on which order I release the videos, you'll see those a little bit more detailed too. Uh, and this one, like I say, it was just a good deal. Um, you know, looking around for something to buy, I was ideally looking for sovereigns, but didn't really see any coming in that were, you know, at such a low premium. I did buy some other sovereigns, some uh, shields, which you'll see soon. But uh, yeah, I bought these, and that is basically what I've picked up a lot of recently, uh, more one ounces. So in terms of the three coins here, they are, you know, premium coins, and uh, most people would pay a little bit more than, you know, a normal one ounce coin for them. Uh, but not everyone would buy them, you know, some people would rather just wait and buy, you know, a normal Britannia, for example, something like that. Uh, personally, the premiums were low enough for me to go for them, but, um, you know, now Spot has jumped up a little bit since I bought them and since I recorded the uh, last few videos. Uh, yeah, these are looking a bit of a bargain, to be honest. So, uh, this uh, Buffalo actually paid, well, now, you know, a percent or so over Spot. Um, with you know the current price so maybe when you watch a video it'll be higher maybe it'll be lower so yeah it does look like a smart purchase at the moment so not like I say something I'm going to be stacking a lot of if I was in America yeah I would probably be stacking these maybe some eagles as well but there would be the you know the bulk of the stack so the UK we have various coins you know quite a lot of choice from the Royal Mint um, including obviously the Britannias and so on so I will mostly focus on picking those up, but when I see something like this at a, a low premium, you know, beautiful coin, I will uh, I will pick them up. So ultimately for the stack, you know, it does make sense to have more British-based coins, so that are um, denominated in pounds. They have a, a legal tender status, and that means that they'll be capital gains tax-free, whereas something like this buffalo would not be. So yeah, over in the States, I can see where you guys stack a lot of these. Um, I do prefer this to the Eagle, I think. I would definitely take one of these over an Eagle. Um, I probably wouldn't buy a lot of these, though, because, like I say, they do tend to come normally at a bit more of a premium to things like Krugerrands. Um, and normally Britannias are cheaper as well from dealers, so... I always wonder which side of this coin I prefer, to be honest. You know, what do you reckon? We've got, obviously, the Buffalo on the one side, but... Uh, yeah, I do like the face as well, so hmm, it's quite a tough one, but let me know what you think. So yeah, I'm going to basically pick up more one ounces if that's the case, um, that they happen to be at a lower premium. I would rather buy some more sovereigns, I think, but uh, you know, it'll come down the line when premiums seem to normalize a bit more and uh, you know, there's some more deals coming up, perhaps some more keen sellers, then uh, we will see. So I mentioned the current prices obviously have risen and uh, to me, you know, as a long-term stacker and somebody who plans to hold for, you know, a number of years, I'm not too worried about short-term fluctuations, uh, but what I would like to see is the price steady off briefly. So for example, if the gold price jumps up to $2,000 an ounce or something tomorrow, then I'm not going to rush in and buy because of that. I'm going to just hang on. And, you know, give it a week or so, give it a week or two, maybe even give it a few more weeks and just see what the price does. If it begins to stabilize in that kind of a range and, you know, holds on there, then 
I'll continue my you know typical you know purchases um, if I see a good deal then it sometimes makes the spot price irrelevant so for example if you are looking at shopping now uh, now spot price has gone up people are selling things like I say a Krugerrand for spot plus post and you know that seems like uh, obviously a good deal in terms of premium but at the moment that's sort of 1550 pounds for a Krug whereas you know before Christmas I bought a couple of Krugs which were in the 1470s 80s and um, you know it just seems like a bit of a jump up so once premiums you know settle down and once the price steadies whether that's up or down you know I'm sure people will be buying a bit more um, and yeah I will just keep an eye out like I say these two coins uh, that I bought recently um, they don't really track the spot price that much neither does the dragon uh, but yeah you know things like your buffalo they do tend to so buying basic Britannias buying basic sovereigns things like that is uh, you know ultimately what I do the most of but it does just depend you know what uh, what kind of deals there are out there at the time so looking forward to picking up some more coins and you'll see some sovereigns soon thanks for watching